What's going on, y'all? Welcome to another episode. I'm your boy, Nemo, and... It had to be nice. And this is... Podcast and Breakfast. Episode... Four. Season two. Let me take these off. Why you so extra all the time? I don't know. What's going on, y'all, man? I hope y'all having an incredible morning. Uh, I'm a little sleepy. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I got up this morning. Uh, I worked out uh, twice. Uh, and my wife made me a cappuccino. I drunk that. It's not working. It's not really working for me. Um, so I got a second cup. But anyway, that's a little bit about me. How y'all doing? What's going on, baby? <laughs> you so dramatic. You're so extra. I got up and I worked out twice, and um, mm -hmm. you didn't. How many times I worked out? You worked out once. I got worked out. <laughs> see, see, I was trying to keep it PG, and she went all the way left. <sighs> you know how the mornings be, y'all adults. Lord. How you doing, sweetheart? You look beautiful this morning. You look like you. Thank you. You, you, you just been up all night, ready for the, this morning. I don't know if that's good or bad. That's a good thing. Like you got ready last night. You know? Oh, I look like this took a long time. I woke up like this. <laughs> I got dressed first. You see me in my Adidas, and then Nemo had to put on his Adidas. Yeah, Adidas. Holler at us. Uh, yeah, That's send us some free, college. send us something free or something, some free draws or something. <laughs> I don't think they make it these thumbs. Yeah. Hey, be the first. They could, huh? Yeah. All that Beyonce line. Yeah. Ivy Park draws. Oh, got you. You feel me? Yeah. So what's going on, babe? Nothing. How you doing? I ain't as tired as you. I was last yeah, week. Yeah, man. I don't know, man. It's been a long week. It's been a long week, man. It's like February came and then February yeah. left. Yeah. She usually how it go, I guess. Mm-hmm. <sighs> uh, so, you know how we do it. We ain't gonna I waste no time. We ain't gonna I waste no tape. Try to slide in. You good? Emo takes up all the space. I'm sorry. Uh, Why you all the way up there? What? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. You sure it's nothing? We big over. No, I'm sorry. We little over. Okay. So... We gonna jump. We gonna jump right into it. Y'all know how we do it. Mm -hmm. uh, first thing we are gonna talk about this morning, Saturdays. Today's Saturday. Today's Saturday. Do you make your Saturdays lit, or you make it the resting days? Oh, man. Like what? What do you? If it was up to me, my Saturdays would always be full of rest, mm. wine, and food. Yes. So what? What's stopping that? What's stopping that? Yes, man. <laughs> what you mean? He, the, the, he it's swore, not lit, no, right? He swear all week he want to relax. I'm so tired. I need to chill this weekend. We ain't gonna do nothing. Come Saturday morning, he's mm -hmm. making plans. Come on, babe. Um, just get up. I need to make a run real quick, you know. And I'll be like, no, go by yourself. No, no, no. That's not considered lit, though. That's that's busy. considered errandy. It's, it's it's errandy. But you create the errands. I created. <laughs> You don't love everything that come back from the errands? Not literal. <laughs> this is like we saying errands. Yeah, but... Why do errands sound like errands? Say errands. Errands. Now say errands furniture. Errands. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sell and sell and sell. You can sell a boat. You can sell clothing. Yeah. Or you can have a blowout sale. It's weird. Anyway. I think they call hominems, baby. Hum hominems? Yeah. Never heard. They didn't teach that. I forgot you went to Chicago Public School. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It didn't make it to the Midwest. Oh, I'm not, you went from the Midwest. I forgot. Yeah. 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 It didn't make it south more. Yeah, I, I don't know. I never Whatever he's trying to say. Yeah. I'm trying to relax on Saturday. But, okay, I would prefer a lit night. You want a lit night more than a lit Saturday morning? Yeah, because I'm not a morning person. I know people like that. It's like, like okay. But the lit night needs to start at like 4 and stop at 8. 
Okay. <laughs> so I okay. can still have like nine to midnight. That's not a lit night. You gotta like. You gotta have live. a structured lit night. Like if we would have a, a dinner party, right? Uh, if we had a dinner party. Okay. You know, friends, family. Right. The dinner party needs to start about five. Right. And maybe it should be over by nine. Mm hmm. That's lit. It's lit. It's a lot of liquor happening. It's a lot of laughing. A lot of joking. A lot mm -hmm. of games. But now y'all can go and I can get my uh, feng shui back in the house. Right. Rest my energy. And it still ever, have. But have you ever known anybody to have nothing but lit Saturday? You're like, yo, every Saturday you lit, you doing something. Well, why don't you define lit now? That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, a party. Uh, barbecue. <laughs> it used to be uh, us. It's every Saturday. Damn, that was us. Yeah. That was us with babies, that too. That was us with babies. Because you got babies, so you don't want to have to worry about a babysitter. Plus, right. the people you kick it with was family. Absolutely. So, it's like like family and friends, they don't care about your kids. So, y'all get settled, go in y'all room, and we're going to have a barbecue. Or we're going to have a party in the night. You know, we Absolutely. had house parties. That's the only way we was able to have be adults. We was quarantined before quarantine. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That's a fact. So so you would rather resting. I know I know a lot of people that like, yo, that's that's their resting days. Like I don't they don't do nothing. Like nothing. It's it's nothing going on but sleep, movies, shower. But don't you eat. love it? I love it, but you in, in love with it. Like I flirt with it. I flirt, you know. I I'm mess with it. You said that? What? You are in love with it. You in love with it. I never get to do it. <laughs> Listen, is you in love with it or not? Nope. <laughs> what are you? You go with it. I go with y it. Y'all go together. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be in love with it because somebody is keeping me away from it. I'm not keeping you away from it. Okay, you want me? See, that's what I'm saying. If I keep you in the bed and I just bounce out here, baby. You know how you be, All right, baby, I'll see you. I'll be right Where back. Where you going? See what I'm saying? <laughs> You might as well come with me. I ain't with all the questions. But come I'm see. Tired. Just what? Just tell me what your plan is. Nemo wants to do stuff all Saturday, and I'm like, what's the plan? How many stores? You like make it strategic so I can plan for first of all what shoes I'm gonna throw on. Okay. Ankles is weak, child. Okay. And how long I'm gonna be out? Is he gonna feed me while we out? Okay. <laughs> gonna feed you. I'm already hungry. Okay. Uh, and you know I need to understand if it's like a mall day slash you visit other stores then I know I should probably eat right. wear some sneakers nice 270s something comfortable uh, some sweats or just something comfortable because you gotta fight you know a lot of times that's that's that is everybody majority of the world's off days correct mm -hmm. even for you know even if you're not working even if you're just an at home mom like that is your the weekend is like so. You to me sometimes you have a fight between resting and lit. Like I want to, I want to be lit because I don't want to waste these days. But I'm I'm tired too. Right, right, right. You see what I'm saying? Right. But that's why we came up with our theory. What fifteen years ago? What was that? You start your weekends on Thursdays. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yo, it was a time. It was a time that we were going. We were going out on third, but that was just falling like that for us. Whatever. No, we started planning it. Was because it? we always felt like we needed to do something on Friday. Yeah. And then, you know, go into the weekend. Right. When we started on Thursday, uh, like, we, like, okay, when, when it really kicked off was when movies started premiering on Thursday nights. Movies? And, yeah. Instead of, At like, sure. Friday. Right. Right. Absolutely. So, if we could see the premiere of a movie, that reminds me, I need a movie today. I don't know if they got it. Mm. But if we could see the movie Thursday, then we already got Friday free. So we would do the movie on Thursday, maybe right. dinner on Friday, or have some people come over, and then kick it Saturday. But then we ain't got to do nothing on Saturday but do grocery shopping. Right. And then Sunday, nothing. No, I mean, Sunday is a lot of people's rest. We, but I, I don't know that that kind of escaped us the whole Thursday thing, like starting Thursday. I think that's. I mean, as the pandemic. Especially, right? Or was it like we kind of stopped that before that time? We stopped it because we lost interest in the things we used to. That, yeah. 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 We kind of grew out of it because it was like, I don't want to go to the movies. Right. Then we ended up going to the movies. It was a time we went to the movies for almost every new movie that was interesting. But this right. was also a time when they was making good movies. 
Right. And then it came a time where we went to the movies twice a year. Right. Because they stopped making good movies. Right. And then we were just like, no, I need to do other movies. Yeah, I mean... Like, honestly, I would prefer to do stuff through the week. I did laundry on Tuesday, and I was like, oh, that's kind of nice. Like, I ain't, we gotta worry about it on the weekend. Right. I mean, y'all let y'all let me know. I just want to be. I just want to know, you know, how people's Saturdays go. Cause I, like sometimes everybody, you know, has a flow to their Saturdays. Sometimes people are like y'all finna, I'm finna get lit. I'm finna, and I know like, even in the pandemic though. Like, yeah. what is getting lit though? You still ain't really said. What's getting lit? Like, like you talking about parties and drinks? Parties, and, like uh, you know. That mean you got Rodeo the same. Drive on a Saturday, like. Oof. You know what I'm saying? I can't take people's energy. Yeah, I, I don't do that. I'm just, I'm just saying. I, 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 I you no, know. because if everything was normal, we would uh, probably be ready to go to the beach right now. Dealing beach sounds, yeah. Beach sounds incredible. Let's go on down to Santa Monica every minute. Let's go on to comment Vegas. below. Let's go. It was just, he's just go, go, go. He, he. What do I call you? A street rat. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, man. I, you know. Like, I, ever since he met me, I always enjoy being in the house. So you can like never say I was like, yeah, you wanting just, to be in the streets. Never. Yeah, she gonna call me a street rat. Yeah. You just want to push that pedal, <laughs> like, yeah. I said that, but that's funny. That's, as hell. Yeah, that's funny as shit. You was like, I was like, you like what you don't want to, you don't want to be in the house. I'm like, nah, I want to be in your want to be. You yeah. just want to be out pushing that pedal. That's yeah. what. <laughs> I love being in the house peaceful it's quiet i yeah. got everything i need especially when you got everything you need we got right. movies you got apps you got tv you got food you got drinks you got juice you got snacks you got you gotta have beds snacks. come on you gotta have snacks Big absolutely couches i'm just i could lay all over this place so so check it what okay um comment below how y'all start y'all said y'all get some coffee do y'all work out you know what i'm saying do y'all be like y'all finna hit the streets because some people just hit the streets they go watch their cars okay. you know we in cali so you know we ain't having you know no disrespect to what's going on around the world we're not having that type of weather so i know you can hit the streets early get your car washed uh-huh y'all get that sod off them cars what and the other states that's getting snow and ice and y'all driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, got, you better get that side off y'all car. Yeah, it eats away at the paint. Yeah, been there. So, yeah, just comment below and let me know how y'all, you know, how y'all get busy on y'all Saturday. We are gonna go to the next thing, next topic. Um, with that, with that being said, a lot going on in the world. It was a great segue. It's my moderator. So, <laughs> it's my moderator. <laughs> Y'all would say, don't, like, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna you're do a it. great, you're a great co-host, man. Thank you, sweetheart. You know? I couldn't do it without you. Okay. Uh, it got weird. <laughs> so, uh, with everything changing in the world, I just want to ask this. Uh-huh. Because right now, majority of people, um, the pandemic has hit Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Uh, financially, right? We're gonna keep talking about this pandemic. Either. Yeah, because yeah, no, we're not, we're not. But I'm just, this is the the segue. Mm-hmm. Uh, it has hit everybody financially, mm-hmm. um, hard. You know, some harder than others, but it's it's touched everyone. So, if the world changes right now, and you did not need money, mm-hmm. you didn't need it. What would you do first? Like you don't need money. If the world changed, if the world changed and you didn't need money to do anything, what would you do first? Comment below. We're gonna talk about. Hmm. They say sleep. <laughs> no, I wouldn't sleep. No, what you? <laughs> um, I don't know. I think I would look more into like farming. Great. Like I would just like it could be the same property, you know. But right. I would look more into growing like, your own food. Yeah, like, like how to flip the land and like flip turn the ground over. I think that's what they call it. Yeah. You yeah. know, and then like start planting because I would love like a whole little garden and all that. Right. Stuff and growing food. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to be like butchering. Like they can keep that. 
I mean, like cows. Yeah, and, stuff. and I want to do yeah. all that. Yeah. I mean, maybe get a few chickens or something. Yeah. <laughs> get some fresh eggs, but yeah, I think I will look into farming. Mm. Especially if we don't, if we don't have to worry about money. Yeah, no, no, no money. The money thing is over. Uh, I don't know. I'd be trying to create. Isn't it something. weird that we could look into that right now? It's not something we need money for. Right. But if money's taken away now, I want to be sustainable. Ain't that dumb? I just thought about that. Yes. Because I think the money thing makes you on this treadmill. Like, mm -hmm. it, you know, like I always say, money is like a it's like a race. Mm -hmm. You know, you're racing to get the next check. You're racing to get mm -hmm. the next dollar. Yep. And it keeps you in this type of motion. Yep. But yep. once you don't need it, this is when you start really want to get your life together. You know what I need to do? Mm -hmm. I need to... <laughs> Because now I can slow down. I yeah. can slow down in the race. Right. Or I can just Plus, be if money not, is not, not a run. if it's not a factor, right. then, then we're not worrying about earning it. Right. right? Then right. we ain't worrying about spending it. Absolutely. And so now your whole your motives for life change. Right. And it's like okay, what all that creating business stuff? It ain't gonna matter. Right. So right. now it's like okay, well, how can I sustain my family? through generations that don't require funds because mm. everything is free. Mm -hmm. You know? Absolutely. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's something to really think about. You know, because it's our dog. She, she <laughs> want to get, get out. She want to get out. Uh, She's scratching. Not right now, boo. We live, man. <laughs> so, um, that, like I said, that, that's something to really, really think about. Mm -hmm. Like, if, if it changed, it goes back to... And the only reason I, I brought up this, because I think we was... Well, I was just singing it, or the song was on, If I Ruled the World by Nas. Mm -hmm. And Lauren Hill, we were just talking about mm -hmm. it. Yes. Um, and it's just really like... I'm sorry, guys. Remy, no. You just know how to let out. Um, yeah. Uh, one moment. moment. Keep talking. Oh, I can just cut it. Come on. That's good enough. Such a deal. Yes. But as I was saying, that's something to really, that's something to really, uh, uh <laughs> I came right back in. That's something to really think about. Yeah. Um, what would you do? Like I said, it would it would be something we're creating, creating something we we need or something somebody else. Need. I think when you take money away, mm -hmm. you don't only think about you right. anymore. You start to think about others. Mm -hmm. Now, even though we're in a world to where people just just making continuously making. Stacks and stacks of cash and only thinking about making another stacks and stacks of cash. But when you take that money away, you just like, we straight now. Right. We don't need anything. So what, what somebody else need? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I think I, I would be thinking about creating something for something somebody else. Like what? I don't know. I mean, you got to think about the homeless at this point because now homeless ain't even homeless no more. Do they get off the street? Do they just walk into a home? Like, what? how do that go? Well, hopefully if this all transcends. Right. Is transpires. that? Transpires. Transpires. Trans transpires. Right. It can do both. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> um, then there, there's a lot of empty housing. Like, they act like, like there's not enough housing for people or shelter exactly. for people. Mm -hmm. it, it is. So, it, yeah, go walk into your free home. You know, mm -hmm. if if it's some sort of tax on it or something like that, mm -hmm. I'm sure it would be. Even though money's not a factor, there'd still be tax on something. Right. In some right. way, form, or fashion. Right. But overall, mortgage is gone. Paying for food and groceries, all that's it's, gone. It's gone. So, yeah. It, homelessness is not a factor. So now we need to look at the other issues of the world. Exactly. The other issues of people. That, that I mean, I, I, you know, maybe it, the next focus would be mental health. Mental health. That would be yes, because it's a lot of that. It, it's a lot of that with that with functioning people. I think people yeah. when you when you talk about mental illness to a lot of people, people start to think, are they crazy? Like it's a lot of people that that you work with that you at the gym with. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. you in traffic with. These people are functioning humans. Mm-hmm. But it's some lights out up there. You know what I'm saying? Because mental illness doesn't just mean you're walking around crazy. Like That's what I used to think or, when I was or young. Sad. Or sad. Cause you can, a lot of things. Some people suppress it. You know what I'm saying? And you don't know. They, they act regular at work. They act regular around you. And then they go home and be depressed. Mm-hmm. 23 hours straight. You don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. Yeah, man. We it, that, would, that would be nice. You know? That would be really nice. It was just something to think about. It was just a question. Um, make sure y'all, y'all, you know. We be coming deep, don't we, though? Yeah, come in and, 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 <laughs> and, and comment. Comment on that. Um, what would you do? Yeah. There's some of the things we'll do. Moving on. We know that you are big in makeup. Right? We know we... Okay. She said no. The modest. I'm Bless not big in makeup. Okay. What you mean? Go ahead. I'll let you finish. All right. Only reason I say big in makeup. Um, you know how to do it. You've been doing it a while. You've learned how to go heavy, to go light. How, you, know, you know how to contrast it. You know, mm-hmm. is I'm saying that right? Contrast. Sure. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Contrast different uh, products to bring your look out. Okay. I say that to say this. Okay. We any we getting any vlogs this year for you? <laughs> you blindsided me with that. Yeah, I know. Like, what you mean vlogs? You like, mean, like makeup tutorials? vlogs? Yeah, tutorials. Listen, people still got to put makeup on. Pandemic or not. You know, I was just watching an OG YouTuber, right? Right. And they sat down to do a makeup tutorial. And they was like, you know, I don't think that this is a realm in YouTube no more. Everybody does lifestyle vlogs. And, you know, it's always like now it's a chat while it's a get ready with me. Mm -hmm. More so than like a full focused makeup tutorial. And I don't know if, I, I don't know. I don't know. It depends on like what the world needs like my looks have changed right my techniques have changed mm-hmm. but at the end of the day i feel like who cares about makeup right because I, it's a you know and i said it to, to segue into the next thing um now i see my wife because it's, it's i see the makeup things you do mm-hmm. but i the biggest thing that I've seen her change, and I'm like, yo, I'm finna go get me some cream too for my face, is face products. Skincare. Skincare. Like, skincare is more like the number one thing for you over the makeup, correct? Yeah. Because I mean, I guess your skin would have to be. You gotta have good skin. Skin. You gotta have a good base, a good foundation to right. put stuff on. Right, so tell us about that. Like, what's some of the, like, the new, the new things that you use? Smack. I know you are. <laughs> I'm not gonna throw no products out. Cause there. I use some of them too. I use some of her stuff. Use all of it. Okay. Use all of it. Okay. Stop capping. Yeah, I ain't capping. I do. Um. Go ahead. I don't know if okay if you if I think way back I've always did a skincare regimen. Right. Um, so that's but that's not dead on YouTube. Skincare regimens is not dead. That'll never be right. I don't know. It's kind of boring. Is it? Yeah, you just watch somebody like do my makeup, um, my my skincare morning routine and my skincare nighttime routine. I mean, people do it. it. You will watch it. Yeah, I watch. If you do it, I watch. It. I've watched. Uh, I watch other guys uh, have. I don't think uh, it's a big community of males that do it. They do it. It's a lot. I know, but what I'm saying is, it's not a bigger community than females. Uh, absolutely, yeah. So, um, but anyway, I always been into skincare because I grew up with eczema and mm. um, I forget what they call it but like the light patches like on my face. Mm. I had that. I grew out of it but I still get like these eczema dry spots and then you got an oily t-zone and then you got dry patches and it's just like it's, it's, it's annoying. It's right. annoying because your makeup can kind of come through Now I don't wear foundation anymore um, but it could still come through and then you got dry skin so mm. it, I when I hit the beautiful 36. You said your age on it. Yeah, okay. I'm proud of you. Boy, look good. That's right. You 32? Yeah, 32. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, no, I was just like, I want to change the focus. Like, right. I really want to stop wearing makeup. 
Oh, oh, like when would that happen? Shit, I don't know. When I get my eyebrows tatted on. <laughs> tatted on eyebrows. They have it. It's called microblading. Yeah. Your eyebrows look like the frame of your face. I've seen that. Mm-hmm. I've, I've seen shown it. it to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you was like very crazy. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I just want to get out of it. Like, it's fun to put a little bit on to bring out certain features, like some contour, some blush, but. Mm-hmm. Other than that, you know, I just focus on retinols and serums and vitamin C's and Did vitamin you, Have D's. you seen, have you noticed in yourself any results from a lot of the, the products you've gotten from, you know, for your face? Have you, I don't know. I wish I took a picture. Yeah, and have like side by side. Yeah. I wish I did that. Um, the dryness isn't there as much anymore. Right, right. But, I mean, I'm putting on so much moisturizing products and retinols that I would suspect that would go away. Like, I, I never really had bad skin. Right, right. It's just, I don't know, I have dark circles, but... Don't we all? Man. Don't we all? No, I don't think you really have dark circles. I do. I don't think you do. I, I see myself different. <laughs> I see you a little different. <laughs> uh, so that and... So is we... Are we getting a vlog from you? Can we get a vlog from you? Can you do just one? For my skincare. For your skincare. Mm -hmm. Your night. Because I want y'all to see this. I want to see if y'all doing this. Um, it's a lot. Bro. Like, I'm going to tell you like this. <laughs> like, I try to, you know, I see my wife. And I see my wife's skin. I'm like, man, her, her skin is beautiful. Her skin glows to me sometimes. And I just be like, that's what's up. You know what I mean? I, I, don't, I don't smoke. I don't barely drink you know it's very occasional so i'm like how can i get my shit to glow i want it to glow so so listen good. So, hold on. so check it so check it she do it every night constantly like yo you know how people get out their clothes you know what i'm saying i got my clothes <laughs> laid out like that's it she's in the in the in the bathroom like <sighs> I'm with this work, you know what I'm saying? I'm, oh, this, this face is going to get this work. And I'll be like, yeah, I guess I got to do it too, huh? Like, no, I'll just be like, uh, you going to wash your face? It's, it's a lot of work. And I, and I, you know, I want you to put that on display due to the fact that that could help someone. You know what I'm saying? Like, I look at, I looked at that and I, I was inspired. Like, okay, well, disclaimer. The products that I get ain't right. necessarily the products that's going to work for you. That's, that's uh, true. But just... And I'm just trying stuff. You know what kind of threw it out there? It was freaking TikTok on Instagram because I don't have TikTok. But you go down these reels on TikTok and it, now you got dermatologists making videos talking about under a $100 skincare routine. And then you got all these other people and specialists i mean it's just like the world flew to instagram reels and it's like oh okay because so, they're giving you tips like right. most people just walk in and you like let me get a little cleanser and a little moisturizer right. and that used to all be like bar soap never failed me i don't care what nobody say i could wash my face with bar soap never had a problem right never had a problem one moisturizer but they say bar soap out. dries your skin out though right but any cleanser can dry your skin out so what's you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So like I never had a problem with that, and then all this stuff just started kind of making sense. Like okay, what retinols are really for, and vitamin C with caffeine and aloe and all that different stuff. You're just like oh okay, so put the serums on first, and then the moisturizer, right. the gel moisturizer, and then the cream moisturizer. You know, and it all was like oh okay, mm -hmm. I can do that. I can do that shit. Right, so, right, right. I get a lot of my products from Marshalls mm -hmm. in the skincare section. Marshalls, TJ Maxx, even Ross have a lot. Marshalls is the, is the junk. I love it. I yeah. love it. Because it, it just it doesn't require you to get some Lemur. Look, I know the high price. I used to. What is it called? Lemur. Lemur, huh? Lemur. Lemur, huh? Mm hmm. I'm talking $99, well, get... $99 for a vial like this. Saks, Neiman's, you oh, know, okay. Bloomingdale's type stuff. And I was mm. like, you don't need all that. You don't yeah. need all that. Does it work though? Like they say, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing ninety nine dollars. Something better work. Something. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know, like you get that stuff. Ninety nine dollars. I guess it work. 
It better. It better work. It better. But see, the thing is, with skincare, you're not supposed to start skincare later. You're not supposed to wait until you get all the wrinkles before you start doing a skincare regimen. Yeah, water, should, water helps too, right? Water drink it, the drink it water, though. Water is the number one thing, though, number one thing that's going to clear your skin. Mm -hmm. And you should cut back on caffeine mm -hmm. and alcohol mm -hmm. and smoking if that's what you do. Yeah. We don't smoke. Um, alcohol, yeah. You see this nice bar right here? I can't see it. Yeah. Is that one? Yeah. Uh, partially. You blocking it. You know. You uh, yeah, yeah. We got a lot of, lot of liquor back there. Yeah, you know, but water. Yeah. Water. Water. Clean face makes for good makeup. And positive routine. vibes. Positive vibes. And sleep, man. Sleep. You keep sleep. trying to get me away from sleep. <laughs> trying to sleep. I need my beauty sleep. Um. So, so is that it says I, yes or no? If I do this, yeah. uh, skin I'm gonna let me commentate it. No, you gonna do it with me? Oh no! Oh no no no! no, no. no. Yeah. I didn't say me. Yeah. I said were you going to? You asked me, and I'm telling you that I will do it. Okay. If you do it with me, the men need to know how to take care of their beards. And it's a little bit. This <laughs> is it's, it's small. What's your point? I'm, I'm just saying, like, you know. Some people like small beards. Okay. Who need that shit hanging down here? Yeah. No hardens. Oh. <laughs> so, we might, we might do one. We do one together? We can definitely do it together. Okay. All right. Y'all see, y'all heard it here first, all right? We didn't give you a Nah, if, they, if it's so much, y'all make sure y'all come and say, yo, had the be. We gonna get that. You know what I'm saying? Let her know, because it's her duty. <laughs> All right. Uh, with that being said, we're gonna go to the next topic. I know everybody has seen it. Uh, if you've, if you ain't gotta look at the news. You can just be on Instagram. Um, Texas. Yeah. Uh, sad. That's, Texas. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Um, what's going on in te Texas? What? What the fuck is going on? I don't on? know. Hopefully, by the time y'all see this, Texas is out of its Arctic blast. What mean? What, what? Why is Texas? The, the biggest question is, why is te Texas having an Arctic blast? Why is that? Because we messing with the weather. Heart, huh? You yeah. know it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just you know, it's for people that don't. I just, I mean, you have to question that. I mean, yeah. it's unfortunate though. Yeah, I, I've seen now. The, the one thing I don't get, I guess that's the ice though. What? Uh, I, I, I seen a bunch of people houses, mm -hmm. you know, on Instagram mm -hmm. just caving in. And I'm like, do houses really just... They can if they're not built for the weight. I think I when you told me that, I was like, yeah. it's the weight of the ice and the snow. So no, they never thought that, that ice could land in Texas, I guess. Okay, it's like not building a hurricane-strong house in... Texas. Like, man, we was but in some Texas houses. can get a hurricane. But we was in some houses in Chicago. I know these wasn't built right. <laughs> it was holding all type of ice they and snow. They were brick though, weren't they? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. The wood that, that, that down the straw house. But that don't have anything to do with the roof, though. It do. The, all roofs ain't built. All roofs. I understand what you're All saying. roofs. <laughs> all roofs. All roofs. Yeah. All roofs ain't built the same. You know, yeah. we don't have to plan for uh, heavy rain. Okay, perfect example. Where we live at, there's a terrible sewer system, right? So that's terrible. So you can enough. have two hours of just consistent, steady rain, not heavy downpours, and the streets will flood. If it they will. didn't build it like that, yeah. they ain't built to withstand. We don't even have gutters out here. It's crazy. No, we don't have gutters. Or basements. Or basements. Who wants to be in a basement when it's earthquake city? I'm just used to having a basement and I know, I, being I've from the Midwest. But it's nice. What, not having a be basement? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's not extra room. Enough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like, they didn't build them like that. That's sad, yo. That's sad, bro. Like, I... That's what homeowners... Now, now... I there's your homeowner's insurance... 
cover ice because it's never it's not probably even in there, right? Storms, but it should cover some sort of natural disaster. Cause that's what they're gonna call it. Yeah, what natural? <laughs> we know. That's what they call it. Yeah. So a natural disaster home coverage, right? right. Like here in California, you gotta have separate earthquake coverage, right. separate flood coverage, and then you have like homeowners insurance, like. It's, it's a bunch of separate things. Right. Um, right. Like, I don't even know why I would ask about flooding when we, like, sign up for yeah. insurance, but it do. And yeah. I'll be like, nah. Exactly. <laughs> we'll need that. It ain't flooding. Well, when would it flood? But, but we, nowadays, in California, it's like, okay, yeah. if it's a tsunami. You don't know. Then maybe it could flood and reach where we at. That's for damn sure. I mean. But. I mean, we're pretty far in and north. Right. I, I mean, I mean, I don't know. Me just seeing uh, what Texas is like, I don't even know what to say about that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, unfortunate. Everybody's it's, saying pray for Texas. I hope y'all really praying for Texas. Yeah, stop. <laughs> don't do that. If you putting up prayer hands, like even if you ain't praying in the moment, still pray for them people mm -hmm. before the day over. You know what I'm saying? Meet your praying hands with praying words. Ooh. Ooh. Tweet that, y'all. Tweet that. Meet your praying hands with praying words. Mm. I'm really writing it down. He is. Yep. So we're going to pray for Texas. We've got, we got peeps in Texas. Yeah, man. They good, though, right? I haven't heard otherwise. Yeah, because you would, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You say something. Maybe. I hope. Yeah. Listen. I hope, yeah. If our Texas uh, friends need to come to California. Come on. Come on. We got room. Yeah. Y'all can ride that thing out and, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's I mean. Unfortunate. Even, even um, back in, uh, you know, I was talking to my mom, even back in St. Louis, it's like, was getting like ridiculous cold, like below zero. And that. It has. Midwest been. get cold, though. It but has St. Louis has. Up. Yes, it has. Really? Yes. Even since we've been together, even when we had the kids. It got below home. zero before? Yes. Yes. You wake up and it's negative 12. I was outside doing this time? <laughs> yeah. You I had to go to work little. during that time. I definitely called off. You definitely called off, but I had to go in. See, it's like, okay, overnight, like right before the sunrise, it's negative whatever. Right. Right? Or it's six degrees with the wind chill being negative something. Right. So we've definitely seen single digit numbers. You don't remember? I do not remember that. Yeah. I remember, you know, of course it's being cold. The thing about St. Louis though is it doesn't get colder. It doesn't get as cold as Chicago to me. So like and they have a lot more warmer days than Chicago get. Like I've been in St. Louis and like maybe Christmas or Yeah, Christmas top of January. Mild. See St. Louis gets Cold right around now. Mm. January, February, March. March. I've seen the snow in March, which was. And weird. then it'll finally start to kind of warm up. We are blessed here in California. Yeah, man. Uh, um, yesterday it was seventy-three. Yes, yes, <laughs> it's gonna be seventy next week too. Yeah. Um. So my my heart it's goes out to everybody in, in in Texas. You know what I'm saying? I can't deal with this snow. I know it, it is a lot. Oh, my bones hurt. It is a lot. It's a lot. It is. Um, moving on um, <laughs> from Texas. Uh, we haven't really talked about I mean, I guess people don't really care no more about Black History Month. But we're still in Black History Month. Correct? Yeah. Okay, you're trying to see where this is going. I was just like, when Black Lives Matter, did they still consider Black History Month? I think Black History Month is a thing for uh, commercializing products and stuff. Because the only thing I've seen about Black History Month was when all my uh, shopping apps like Target, Ulta, right. Walmart, whatever. Mm -hmm. They send you all these ads about Black History Month. Shop the black skincare, shop the black makeup, shop the black clothing line. Right. And it's all this African stuff. Or, and it's just like, it's just commercial. 
Right. But I thought everybody was so Black Lives Matter, which should have made the entire year equal to where we don't need a Black History Month. Yeah, I don't think you're right though. The products have they have very much mm -hmm. commercialized uh, products. Mm -hmm. I just seen a uh, out of nowhere. I just, <laughs> that's so crazy that you say that. I see that this morning. I look on my phone and it's an Apple. They have an Apple Black History Month watch, red, black, and red, and, black, and green, mm -hmm. uh, like band. Mm -hmm. And I, I think you even go on the sides or whatever. And I'm like, when they start coming out with that? But anyway, it's commercial. Black History Month. With it being Black History Month, I don't want to get. But I'm. With it being Black History Month, what's your favorite black movie? What's your favorite of all time? I'm talking about. Listen, you was on an island. And it was in February, which is Black History Month. And you can this is the only movie you can watch for a month. What you taking with you? What Dang. what's your favorite? Only one, man. You only can take one. You only be on an island for a month. You're gonna watch this every day. What? See? Well, I see. know what I wanna say. See, but well, say it. But it's so many. You ever wanna pick something but you feel like you're leaving the other ones out? <laughs> I know. I know that feeling. But then you said every day for 28 days. Every day. 28 days. Alright. You ready? Yeah. And don't be acting like I took it from you. Do not say what I'm... Okay, go ahead. Let's do it again. Do it! <laughs> Yo! Yep. Mama, she talking about she gonna watch Let's Do It Again for 28 days. You can yep. do that. Yeah. Because you know why? It's got all the components I love. Right? It's got love, which is the first thing. Damn. It's got okay. comedy. It's a little bit of drama. It's some sass. It's old school. It feel good. And the actors is good. Okay. Press up against that tree. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it again. Some people haven't probably still haven't seen Let's Do It Again. Go on YouTube. Um, is and on YouTube? Let's do it again. Let's I'm do it again. Sure it's on YouTube. Even snippets of it. It's no, no, it's it's actually on it. So Sydney Portier, Bill Cosby. If you haven't watched it, watch that movie tonight. It's so good. It's funny, hilarious. Seventies, right? Seventies. Seventies. So let's do it again. Twenty eight days. Yeah, and I know you better not say what. Coolie High. I can't watch. Coolie High too sad to watch it for it twenty eight days. It is. Uh, See, even Let's Do It Again got a good ending. I need something to what black people is winning in the end. So I need that. I need that couple. <laughs> oh, I you for that. Right? We got that too. Uh, no, Django was a great movie where the black person won. Mm -hmm. But a group of black people winning. I just watched it and I said to myself, yo, I could watch this every day. What? Hall of Nights. Oh. Yeah. Harlem Nights, yo. I hope I can watch it every day, though. For 28 days, I'll watch Harlem every day. You know why? Why? Because I wish he didn't kill old girl. They should have, like, really made... You talking about... What's her name? Damn, what is her name? From, um, different... Different world. Diff, diff, yeah, different, different world. Whitney uh, from different world. Guy. I'm just gonna say Jasmine, Jasmine, Jasmine Guy. Jasmine Guy. I'd have killed Jasmine Guy. I know, I know, I know. But I wish they'd have wrote it a little different. Like he what? Like she beat flipped. Her up? No, no. Like what? she flipped and then she actually became his girl and went against the 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 mob. Oh. Ah, uh, okay. I understand where you going. Yeah, I need but she's some love. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had the pop, but though he had he the. Did. He I'm had glad the... they ain't show. Yeah, that would probably been like kind of crazy. That would have been. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's my favorite. So let's do it again at Harlem Nights. Okay. One island, 28 days. I'm good. I'm kind of good. Yeah. Especially the scene. Okay, 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 okay. What? Now give me one TV show. Come on, everybody. Yeah. What? You ask one black, you ask a black person what they go watch every day. I would. I can say it. I know what it is. Okay, say it. Martin. <laughs> like who? Every black person going to say Martin, yo. Martin. Yeah. Martin or Fresh Prince. Nah. What? No, not as much as Martin or um Fresh is Fresh Prince What mean? Martin is wait, funnier wait, wait. than you Fresh got, Prince. You got Mar yeah, Martin's funnier than Fresh Prince. Yes, yes. It's Martin Brown. Yeah, yeah. They got grown problems. Yeah, like yeah, Fresh yeah. Prince, he just like he kid, Look, kid. Yeah, trying yeah. to navigate right. trying to be grown. Absolutely. Uh, now maybe college years was funnier. 
The Cosby's is pretty no, good. No, the too. college years, I'm saying. No, I know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cosby's, yeah. I could definitely watch. Yeah. I could definitely watch Cosby's. Martin, um, though, yeah. I could definitely probably watch Jamie Foxx show, too. You loved Jamie Foxx show when I met you. Yeah, you yeah. did, too. Yeah, I know, because I think it was coming on the, that was the WB evening. every yeah, night. That was our evening. Y'all remember the WB? Did they have WB here in California? Comment below if y'all had uh, WB in like the early WB, 2000s. Uh, right. Yeah, they should have. Really? Because the WB was Warner Brothers Network and then CW had just changed. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. It's like UPN. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you sure your age. UPN. Man, that's but that was the Chicago network. Yeah. Well, but it came to St. Louis. Yeah, that's not Chicago. It's Midwest. But it didn't start in Midwest. We didn't see the news on UPN. Y'all did. We ain't seen all your damn news on one of the One of the news anchors that you was... Anyway. It, we seen wrestling. Stuff like that. <laughs> wrestling. Wrestling was on UPN. Oh, uh, WWF. Yes. WWE. See, I was going to say, you know, WWF. It used to be WWF, now it's WWE. Yeah, why? I don't know. I think they, it's World, World, Wrestling, World, World Wrestling, Wrestling Federation, Federation to World, World Wrestling, Wrestling Environment. What the fuck? <laughs> entertainment. Oh, maybe entertain entertainment. Yeah. Retarded. Yeah. That's good. So th those are the those are the two those are the two movies. That two movies and number one TV show, Mark. Wow. Like it's All one clip. Nights. But if we wanted to do a whole lineup, we would do Martin, Fresh Prince, uh, Living Single. Okay, we need something for the ladies. Right. Little Girlfriends. Then the Wayans Brothers. Okay. Yes. Oh, man. You would have, I was going to say. Yo. Then the Wayans Brothers. Yo, Wayans Brothers, that TV show don't get enough credit. Nah. Then the Jamie Foxx show. But that fun, that, that show was extremely funny yeah. excuse me let us we should have created a black network it was called BT was not them they just play soul plane so I'm soul plane and baby like boy a black network like they got brown sugar the app right yeah they, they got black love which is a new app right I think I think I've seen it right it's weird um, but you know you got love and basketball love Jones brown sugar all the black, I'm naming all the black love stories. Right, right. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. It's Black is beautiful. Mm hmm Yes, it is. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, I just have to say that, girl. Oh. All right. Y'all want to see me more blush? <laughs> Don't do it. Yo. You <laughs> already see blush and I didn't even see it. <laughs> You're so gorgeous. Come on, babe. <laughs> Why are you doing that, yo? I'm too old to be on here blushing. Black yeah. love is beautiful. She does it to me every time. One single word. Every time. Alright, so. 20 years. So check. You gotta get your thoughts together. Yeah. yeah. Alright, what's next? Alright, we got to talk about this. Just oh, we, Listen, we got to, well, this is a throw in. We got to talk about Nemo it. Nemo be throwing in topics that's for a specific audience that no. know Nemo. No. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. It's your hometown. And where you from? What your name is? Who you from? Who the that? Who you came with? I got a guy, but I got a guy, got a reindeer. I was a guy for that, so that she came her, her. 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 Alright. Nelly you are versus ridiculous. Ali. I know y'all seen it. Y'all seen it. Did they though? Maybe you did see it. But so Nelly versus stop. Ali. It's an entertainment topic. It's an entertainment topic. So, what you think about that? I mean, I know you you, you went to school with that, didn't you? What? Are you going to go to school How with How old do you think I am? Are you going to go to school I'm with Nelly? Smack. You didn't go to school with Nelly? Are you serious? No, I'm playing. Oh. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot. She went to school with Cheney, my bad. Uh, so. Oh, my <laughs> No, I'm joking, I'm joking. These are jokes. Y'all gonna see somebody get beat up on camera. No, Nelly versus Ali. Um, 
What do you think about it? I mean, I know you don't probably know. I don't know you ain't following it. Oh, I've no. watched it. Because you're watching it. I did watch the interview. Though. Loud in the house. So, like, what you think about that? I think they're too old to be whining about somebody not getting credit. And no, somebody... no, at least they ain't get all this money. Okay, too old, too late. Too old and too late. <laughs> too old and too late. I ain't to, listen, they no nobody's never you ain't too got old. You have it's no just too late substantial to get your evidence. Money. You have no substantial evidence, and if you was not so busy co-writing and looking at your funds, then you would know if you was getting your money or not. So Nelly's in the right. I don't know if Nelly's in the right. I just know Ali is too old to be whining about this. He should have just left it alone. It, okay, so right now the situation is looking like he's thirsty for a spotlight to try and get some money because he mm. wants to talk about an old situation about okay. not having money. But you was not that. complaining for 20 years when y'all was going in. When y'all was touring all over and you had nothing to say. You had nothing to say except where your Air Force went. You had nothing to say. <laughs> Like how you how you almost fifty and now y'all whining about Nelly didn't pay me. Okay, what you want me to do about it now? You have no substantial evidence. Will yo in Instagram or YouTube hold up in court to try to get you your money? It's just they're too old to just be still hanging on to it. Yeah, I I I, I watched the uh, Ali interview. Mm -hmm. Ali said he kind of done with it. I just I just see it funny. That it, they waited this long, but he waited this long to talk about his money. Exactly. I ain't, I'm a grown man, bro. I'm not waiting that long, and I got kids to feed and bills to pay. And you, like I'm not waiting that long. Yeah. So I, 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 it is kind of corny. It's very corny, yeah. especially at this point. Yeah, yeah. This time in your life. They, but he said, but 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 Ali said y'all may not get a Saint Lunatic <laughs> reunion, so that matters. Oh, uh, so sad. You sad? Who, who in St. Louis wanted that? But see, he wants the reunion so that he can try to make some money. He's yeah. going on a podcast tour. Mm. An Instagram yeah. live tour to try to get some money yo, and attention. The pandemic hit a lot of these celebrities, yo. Yep. Um, And they doing whatever. He said, yo, yo, what about that downtown baby check? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Unfortunate. But it's funny. Like, I just wanted to hear you. You just gotta let certain things go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Create something else. If you team. didn't build up on your name when the wave hit for y'all to be hype and big, then don't be whining about it now. Because mm -hmm. now you old news. Your audience is fucking 40. But he said Heavy Stars was a classic. I don't even know that song. That ain't, oh, wow. That's his album. You oh. remember, you remember <laughs> I wonder, I don't know if I can even find, is Heavy Starts on title? I'll better go down before you find that shit. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This is funny. Yes, it is. It's on there. Alright, good. Heavy Starts. It came out in what? 2002. Came out when we got together. Damn. What are you what, thinking about that? You know what? I don't know. What's all these songs? Remixes. <laughs> Y'all remember this? Okay, okay. We're gonna get I just got you. A, I gave you a stream, my G. <laughs> you try to help him out? No, nah, no. Nah, all jokes aside, it's it's kind of stupid. Uh, to wait this long, but I just thought you know that was kind of funny. Absolutely. Uh, we we gonna move we gonna move on from that. Um, we'll wrap it up. We gonna wrap it up. Last last topic. Zodiacs. What about? That Which should one be the best? real. No, no. It, it, I mean, do that shit be real or is it is it not? Do you believe in? So I think there are real components to the zodiac that society and. What's what's your zodiac sign? The best one. What's that? Aquarius. Say it to the people. They Aquarius. Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Aquarius. Y'all done, Aquarius. So, so what about what about that? Like, what about it? What's have yours? you met? Have what's you, yours? Huh? What's yours? What's, what's yours? 
I'm a Scorpio. Scorpio, stand up. Yeah. Come here, Zamora. Come here. So, have you met Aquarius like yourself? No. That's what, no. <laughs> So that trait thing, that trait shit just ain't, that ain't, that ain't it. You damn know it is afraid. I said that. No, it's cause you over. Audrey. I've been right here the whole time. Said, Fix it and make sure we in the frame. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's a little. Okay, right there. No. It's still going. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. It's, it's a board. She went in. Go. Yeah, so Aquarius, and yours is Scorpio. Mine's a Scorpio. Right, so you haven't you have you haven't met mm -hmm. Aquarius like yourself. No. What are y'all like? What's the number one thing y'all are? Rebels. You would pick rebel, <laughs> like we think <laughs> rebels What's against the, the cause. What? Uh, the uh, okay. The other number one thing we are are unique, authentic, authentic. Okay. Original. Original. Hate being like everybody else. It's just in us. We Cut. hate going with the grain. We gotta go against the grain. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, only reason I say that, you know, because uh, I see Zodiac stuff all the time. And I be like, yo, is this stuff really authentic? Like, do you really meet? The criteria of what the signs say, Some and have you met other people like that? But I think sometimes it takes you to grow into your trait. You know, something that, that might that be very, in yeah, you, absolutely. it just may not be activated in your sign yet. Like, right, that's true. I, as a child, I've been who I am now. I mm -hmm. can legit say that I was always a rebel. wasn't very outspoken, but in my mind, I was always in my mind, and I'm always in my mind now. Like, right, as an Aquarius air sign, we always. We always float. There's a trillion here. things happening up here, and that's why we give you blank stares and look like we're zoning out. We having a whole conversation, it just ain't coming out. So do 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 signs do do signs matter like in relationships? Like it would matter what sign you you hook up with, or I don't, I don't know. know. Cause according to astrology, me and you shouldn't even be meshing. We shouldn't mesh, mm -hmm. but I think that's because you say rebel. And we sort of a rebel, uh, headstrong. Two headstrong people can't get along, is what they say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but banging all like this. Yeah, we bang heads a lot. No, we don't. We do bang heads. <laughs> we do bang heads. You know what I, what I mean when I say bang heads? I mean like we don't agree on all the same things. No. Yeah. But I mean like. We, we accept each other for having our own opinion. No, that that it is just, true. And and that's where it comes. So if you can grow as a as a couple and accept each other for y'all differences, then you won't bang heads. It'll just be like, all right, well, that's your opinion and that's my opinion. True. So we just kind of let it go. Because when you together as long as we are, you know certain stuff ain't finna be like, I want him on my side to believe what I'm saying. Right, or right, he, right. Or he want me on his side to believe. Okay, I believe you. And I believe myself, so. <laughs> so what's what's a sign that you really got like uh, like you cool with? Like you notice that like I'll be cool with a lot of these. Oh, has that have ever happened? No, I, I don't have a collection of people. Yeah. Like yeah. I know somebody from probably every sign, and I only mesh with one, and that's you. Yeah. That's not cap. No, no, no. Like, I know Pisces, I know Aries, I know Taurus, I know Gemini, I know a Leo, I know a Virgo. My Capricorns. Like, I, had, I had best friends that were both Virgos and a sister that's a Virgo. That's probably the most people I know of one sign. Capricorn, Scorpio. yes. Scorpio, no. Libra, no. I know them, but no. I don't know. Sagittarius, I know. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I just, I you know. Because, like, sometimes people be like, yo, I, I, I meet people, and I be like, I wonder what, I wonder what sign is. And then they be like, yo, I'm a, I'm a Scorpio. You be like, what kind of Scorpio are you? Like, what? Yeah, yeah. See, like, I've known Aquarius, and I just be like. Yeah, like, know. what kind of, yeah. It's like they don't, they, they have no trait from you. Yeah. Like, you don't see that in them. Right. 
Yeah. He said, bitch ass. You just going right with the grain, huh? You ain't a rebel. Exactly. You can activate that trait, or maybe you have it only for certain things. But exactly. But you can follow other things. What's a lot of uh, Aquarius uh, and Scorpio? I only know, do you know Aquarius and Scorpio couple? Couples? We only know one. We don't that's, know them, but we only know of one. That's, that's Matthew McConaughey and his wife. Is they still together? I don't know. Last time we checked, they were. Yeah, yeah. We two hard heads, man. Like, I mean, far as, like, headstrong, like, yeah. I just don't. Does I don't want to be told what to do. Don't Absolutely. tell me how to do it. You don't want to be told what to do. No. I think I know everything. He think he know everything. Yeah. And then we know everything together, so. Yeah. Try to challenge us if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> leave it alone. Yeah. Leave it alone. You, you ain't going to win. You're going to leave with your feelings in your pocket. You but he know. will comfort you, and I'll just say F you. I, I comfort. He's very passionate. He's very emotional. I'm not emotional. I can be emotional if I care. But yeah. that's only going to last 10 seconds and now I'm going to give you this work. Listen, mm. listen, listen. I love you. I want to see the best for you. But you need to get your muck. You know, and it's right. just going to turn into a... Because mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm only giving you this feedback because I care about you. If I don't care about you... Do what you want. I ain't gonna waste my breath. With that being said, <laughs> comment your sign down below. Put your yeah, put your Ooh, sign. Been asking you to comment the whole time. Yeah, put your sign down put below. Sign down below. Let us know. You know what I mean? What's one of your biggest traits of that sign? I, you know, we want to know. Yeah. Facts. Um. With that being said, we had an incredible Saturday with you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank y'all for tuning in. And with that said, I am your boy, Nemo. Say with that being said one more time. I'm your girl, to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Podcast and Breakfast Season 2. Episode... 4. Four of them things.